Sun is here. So, you said we are looking at Dirty Italian. We've got that baby dragon. I want you, though, Rainy, to make an argument for Colton. Colton is, I mean, well, here's the argument, right? Yeah, let me uh, get, give it to me. Popcorn had really great, well-rounded decks that had very efficient, guaranteed options for offense. Right. Colton, <laughs> lightning in both decks, got Royal Giant, got Giant, Musketeer, Mega Minion, solid cards. And being solid wins you tournaments. I don't know, I mean, you got this crazy minor rocket deck, you have Golem, Baby Dragon, and you have Lightning in the second one, so it's a little more balanced, but looking at the decks, just purely, you can't argue against the meta. The meta is there for a reason, because it's mm. effective. Sure, sure, yeah, it works, that's why people use it. Rumham, if you're Dirty Italian, does your Baby Dragon deck match up well against the Royal Giant? It doesn't matter what you think the <laughs> matchup is! Dirty what? Italian knows this up and down. He's gonna take that Golem, he's gonna take that Baby Dragon, he's gonna grease it up, turn it sideways, and stick it right down that left lane, and he's taking that tower and going to the finals, Dirty Italian, I believe in you. I swear, Okay. If, I, I swear, if we see Dirty Italian right now push a Golem in the left lane with a Baby Dragon <laughs> and take it, <laughs> I'm just gonna be like, all right, done. No, this is the guy that actually travels through time. <laughs> not me. <laughs> not, okay. not me at all. Colton versus Dirty Italian. Who's going to take it? Seriously, who's going to take it? Seriously, who's going to take it? <laughs> so, Dirty Italian, he's the man to watch. But in chat, if you disagree, let us know who you think is going to be you moving guys, the finals. You guys, I really want to see the baby dragon versus the graveyard. <laughs> oh, yeah, that would have been, been good. Not, Maybe not Dragon dreams of fighting graveyards at night. Pretty well. fast attack speed, not oh, the fastest, but the little splash and take out skeletons two, three mm -hmm. at a time, pretty good. Yeah, he would be one of the more effective cards in dealing with it. Unfortunately, the Baby Dragon itself isn't a body that can attract the skeleton, so that might hurt its case, but still, here comes the log, yep. and lightning onto the Inferno Tower allows Colton the opportunity to push his giant forward, but Mega Minion will clean that up. Such a good Mega card. Minion at the bridge is even going to kill those skeletons sure. just to prevent any other threat. Lightning in both of Colton's decks, so the Inferno yeah. Tower that uh, Dirty Town only has in this one deck is definitely a big target for it. Yeah, I I think that... Yeah, Lightning, Lightning is just such a key card. I almost wonder how you run without it, if there is a world where that's possible. Obviously, Dirty Italian is going to opt to use Rocket, but really, is that a replacement? I don't think so. Now, if... if if Lightning didn't do the reset, if it didn't have that moment stun on it, do you think we'd see it as much? Is that such a, just a key part of that card? Oh, it's huge. Because if you were Lightning the Inferno Tower and it didn't stop the heating up on your on your giant, you're just a total jabroni. Like, you're going to get oh, completely wiped out. Aww. You got to reset that damage. Wow, there it is. It looks like Copeland's just trying to, just starting the cycle of just damaging the tower early, a little bit at a time. All right, there's the Inferno Tower again. Another Lightning? Placing, yeah, hey, Lightning. No. Anytime you place the Inferno Tower in the center field, and probably I, you could do another art corner about this, about Inferno Tower placement. Anytime you place it in the center field, it's liable to get Lightning, and you can hit either tower in this spot. Ah. And that's exactly the point of the rocket there. You use the miner to bait out something like a Mega Minion, something like a Mini P.E.K.K.A., Lumberjack, anything like that, and you rocket the whole mess. Hmm. Too bad no one's playing barbs tonight, or bowler, because those would be delightful targets. Have we seen barbs? Not in a while. No, not in a while. I really think barbs get hurt by cards like Mega Minion, even things like Ice Golem, which doesn't even fight back, but the fact that they're wow. slow really hurts barbarians. Oh, but nothing's hitting that Inferno Tower. Still plenty of time for it to heat up. Ooh, yeah, that's big. The Musketeer's been really impressive. I don't know why people actually cut that card from their deck in a lot of situations, because it's been kind of the MVP for Colton so far. Yeah, Musketeer changes the, the dynamic a lot. Just having the capability for a ground unit to shoot up and to threaten Mega Minions, I think is so important in today's meta. In Inferno Tower, against Inferno Tower decks, you almost can never play your giant at the river, because they're gonna be able to drop that, uh, the Inferno Tower on you, and because you just spent five and the giant crosses right away, you don't usually have another six just sitting around for the follow-up lightning. They are actually trying to race spell cycling. Colton has gone full on damage onto the tower. He even wow. arrows now. He really wants to make sure he doesn't get behind. But I think another rocket is headed his way. Mm -hmm. He's playing the Musketeer outside of range of the rocket. He's, he has one more opportunity. I think he needed to play a giant like yesterday. Oh, bad. I don't like that lightning either. He's gonna have to arrows lightning. 
to do this. Cycle, 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 cycle. Here comes the rocket, here comes the miner! Cycle! The rocket's coming cycle. in! Cycle! Good game! No! Oh, there it is! Just in the nick of time, Dirty Italian picking up that first victory. Colton one lightning away, but not quite enough. One step closer to being in the finals. All right, that, that's one for Dirty Italian. Crazy. Baby Dragon, one step closer. Rumham. So excited. You might He's get, so excited. You might get this. He's so excited. Bring out the baby dragons. <laughs> Bring out the baby dragons, says Rumham. Now, one thing, Colton has that lightning, and we saw him use it right before. The, he actually used it not on an Inferno Tower. He used it just to get some direct damage onto a tower. Inferno Dragon, or er, Inferno Tower pops, now he has no lightning to reset it. Is that a mistake on his part? Do, if you, do you always wait for that Inferno Tower to use your lightning? Not necessarily, not necessarily. It really depends on the situation. One situation where you might not wait is if you know you can push the tower down, right? If you know that it's mm -hmm. gonna earn you, so the math has to be just right, right? Giant plus lightning will kill tower, but giant without lightning will not kill tower. In that situation, you definitely wanna use your lightning, right? Mm -hmm. in, in that deck matchup, I would say yes. The only thing I was thinking of is maybe you would do it against something like Musketeer Mega Minion, Ice Wizard Mega Minion, something like that, but this deck, there was only a Mega Minion for a target and then Inferno Tower. Okay, so you say, pretty much always use it for the Inferno. You're not going to want a Lightning, Ice Golem, Ice Spirit, or Guards, particularly. All right, well, Dirty Italian, one more game away. We're moving on to the finals. It's really interesting watching Dirty Italian's deck, his minor rocket deck, because it seems towards the end game, he has so many more opportunities to play minor rocket. I almost wonder if players just aren't challenging that elixir spin enough. Ooh, now here's a very bad situation for the baby dragon. Doing minimal damage to a giant while the mega minion chops it up. Mm. It's not the situation you want to see it in. And the giant's going to tank for the mega minion as well, so this is a dangerous situation. Log clears out the ice spirit, which is actually a very, very key card. Log doesn't actually kill the tombstone, and so the skeletons will remain. Not the ideal scenario, but... Tower picks it off, even though it's just barely past the river. Now this deck of uh, Dirty Times does not have the Inferno Tower in it, so he's gonna have to use Tombstone, Mega Minion, Archers as the only real combination defense he can muster. Skeleton's chewing away at the Giant, and the Mega Minion will find itself in an awkward spot. Two Giants played, nothing really to show for it, and I really think Colton's not gonna make a push happen unless he plays a Giant in the back. I, the, see, here's the situations where I'm not a big fan of Tombstone over Furnace. Furnace would be slowly chipping away at that tower right. and forcing your opponent to kind of respond or at least <clears throat> commit some elixir to try and stifle it. But instead, the Tombstone just kind of is three elixir that you can ignore. Oh no, the Musketeer one tile, two forward is getting shot by the tower. Oh, Tombstone gets played too far away and too late, and that giant is going to do a ton of wow. damage. Mm -hmm. This might be the key difference for Dirty Italian actually being in an incredibly good spot and being way far behind. Now this Golem has free reign, plus one Archer that's actually going to tank up for the Golemites. 1,000 damage or 1,000 health left on Dirty Italian's left side tower and was unable to trade efficiently. That's a heartbreaker. Don't see, I mean, Dirty Time took a lot of damage there, but I think as we go into this double elixir time and especially overtime, he's gonna be a lot better off because you can go down to two elixir by playing the golem, but recover much quicker mm. than you would in single elixir time. I would expect this push to be pretty successful. And the log actually helps because it buys you just a little bit more time. Colton did a lot of damage on the right side, but Dirty Talent has committed his elixir to the left side. Big lightning wiping out a lot of the supporting troops and this golem is not long to live. Wow, that tombstone oh, got popped. Awesome. And the death damage really eliminated the rest of the skeletons. The fact that the golemite split up is actually not that ideal for, for uh, Dirty Italian. Colton has the lightning, so he can start shifting to just cycling spells over and over again. Three lightnings will take down that left tower. The big thing is, so far, Colton's defense has been really, really on point. He's defended well against these golems. Make one mistake, and that could change from you playing good defense to you just straight up losing a tower. I think if he keeps playing the way he is, he has a good handle on the game. Uh -oh. I like how he's not getting uh, uh -oh. changing up the game plan, but this might get a little bit tough. That golem is still, the golem might still have a lot of health on it, and that mega minion has a free run. Big uh -oh. lightning, and this is what we're talking about. Dirty Italian's coming down that left lane wow. with the golem. Wow. He's checking in one night at the SmackDown no Hotel. Way. He's coming wow. for the left oh. tower. Oh. Dirty Italian. 2-0 Coltown. Coltown is out. Dirty Italian is moving on. Woo!
The rum ham that can was see a crazy the future. Ending. This is proof. This is proof. Woo! That's exactly the situation that that I was talking about in in during the game is that you can play defense fantastically. I mean, his tower health was at 2.2k on one side and 1.7k on the other yeah. side. All things considered, that is a fantastic defense. But you make one error in terms of unit placement. Where you make mistakes on one push that the golem is coming down, and you lose your tower for it. And, and that's the thing about this game. What I love about it, it's, it's so quick. So one mistake in, in maybe a, a mm -hmm. bigger game is like, oh, we, well, we've got half an hour to go ahead. And, and But in this game, every single second, every single unit counts, as you guys can see right there. So well, congratulations. About, yeah, you're talking about how he's doing such a good job at defending, and then the mm -hmm. one time he let it slip through. That's, 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 that's the big thing about an eight elixir unit investment, right? Mm -hmm. As opposed to if you mess up against the, a cheaper card like a miner or something like, oh, didn't really get the miner to hit the unit, got it to hit the tower instead, you're not too concerned, but do that with a golem and you're crying. Minor rocket. Here it is, minor rocket, so good for dirty Italian. And I really have to wonder if this was a case of Colton just not challenging that elixir spend by pushing a giant down the other lane. Um, and Every over and over and over time. again, you know, oh. three times. Minor plus rocket in the way that dirty Italian is is using it is nine elixir not hitting any kind of troops. You you ch can choose not to defend the miner. What we just missed in this replay as well is that lightning was played just before it started, and the lightning does not kill baby dragon. One of the key things mm -hmm. that have brought it back into yeah. it is that it survives unlikely things. The ice golem and the baby dragon and the golem absorb the three lightning shots, leaving Mega Minion at full health mm. to continue attacking, and that was all the difference.